Hello everyone and we are continue to working with our uh, our project. So today as I said we will create special door. We will create the sliding door. As I said we will use this type of the door. Let me will just uh, copy create this similar. Let me will place it somewhere here. And now I will select this door and I will go to the edit family. Remember if you will save exactly this family without changing the name you will um, resave original one don't do it so the first thing what you will do file save as family and say this is family sliding door sliding door say okay and now if you will save it, no worries, nothing will change. So I will just load inside to the project. And now if I will select this door, you can see door, something uh, internal, blah, blah, blah. And here you will find sliding door. So as you can see, we create the new family. Let's go back to inside to the, our family and let's change it. So we will go to the floor plan, re reference view and floor plan. Actually, I don't like to use the uh, standard Revit families because uh, they really hard to change. But I will try to show you guide something like a guidance how you can do that. Here we are, and let's go to the extrusion straight away. Extrusion, we will get the rectangular, and let's create the rectangular. Done. So like this. Done. Nothing else. So just rough model. Now go to the create, find the reference uh, reference line. Let's draw the, re oh, sorry, reference plane, not a line. A reference plane, one reference plane, and another reference plane. Now I will use dimensions. Uh, it's really important for you guys uh, to follow this way because it will help you later on. And here the our main distance of our um, future door panel. So we will call W make it instance it's really important for us and doesn't matter for for now which the size we have and i will use the align or you can just snap it like by this way but don't forget to lock it lock it and the other part also locked so we did it now we need two more reference plane one more reference plane here and one more reference plane here so just follow the thing uh, it's, uh, your uh, like supporting reference line no, don't should don't make longer than your main one if you will do it may um, longer than main one it will be hard to understand visually where exactly your lines and what they doing so now I exactly see aha uh -huh, this is my center but this one is my just supporting so just make your own rules make your own guidance or just use mine and it will help you really so now let's snap it on that side and let's snap it on this side too. Uh, now I will use dimensions 1, 2, 3 and equal and overall. This is will be thickness. Let's use a T instance. Okay. So and now one more. We need to go to the elevation. But base level we already have. And now we need just the height. So let's make it small as I said okay like that maybe equal and now we need one more reference plane just for the height okay let's connect it and now we need dimension dimension from the now as you can see really hard to understand where is our reference level let's select it and let's extend it oh yeah hell yeah we cannot see properly where is our Ah, now you can see dimension done 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 let's select it and now this is will be h instance one more thing before we will leave this family select your panel find here the material click on this small button and create material panel material And make it instance because we will change this type of the material inside in our main family. Say okay, okay, 
done. But like this way, don't load inside to the another family because this is family one. What is its family one? You you not understand. You will forget uh, uh, for sure. Let's save this family and we will call it panel door panel. Now you will understand. Okay, this is door panel. Fine. Let's load it and close. Load it and close to the sliding door. Done. As you can see, now we can place our future door panel, but it's totally huge. Let's select this door, door, door panel and let's apply some uh, settings. As you can see, height. Let's click on that and let's find door panel height. Okay, awesome. Let's say okay. Now thickness, door panel thickness here. And now the width. Door panel width. Done. As you can see, it's working. But what the difference between previous door and this door? This door is family and now you can just use a line and align it as you can see small line here. This means you can create one line and you can follow it like a trigger around uh, your project and it will be like going inside and going to outside. Really smart thing. Okay, uh, one more thing. Here is our, as you can see, uh, distance for our panel. We will leave as it is. But the thing, this line should just going to the one side or the other side. But we not will touch the, we not will do anything with this line. We will create the new one. Let's create one more reference plane. We will make it a bit bigger. Okay, and I will use dimension for that one. Let's connect it. And this dimension will have special parameter. Let's see which parameter we can use. Actually, here a lot of parameters. Maybe we can delete some of them. We need some parameter like Z direction. And we can create it actually. Let's create the new parameter. This will be better. And we will call it uh, door panel Z direction. So, or opening. So, let's do opening will be more understandable for us okay so and this parameter will be more opening let's find door panel opening now it's as you can see 105 but if I will go back to the properties and I will say door opening should be be like base my door opening dimension door panel door panel door panel door panel opening where is that door panel opening it's here let me I will place it near to the door because it's hard to understand where is that okay and if you will change for example to the 500 millimeter it will go there if you will change to the 100 millimeter it will go the left side now the magic let's use a line let's align this line and this middle one thing and let's connect and now let's align this one and this middle thing done so we did fly slider door now it's going around the left on right side we can check we can check it check it one more time like let me I will show you like uh, 500 millimeter 500 I said and as you can see it's going to the right side and let's make it zero it also will be working and it's exactly already closed so done with that and now we will continue with the opening because now inside of the door we don't have the opening. So actually we are done but of course we can create like more uh, structural formulas like uh, its door shouldn't be go inside more than blah blah blah. But it's not the point for us for now. Let me go to the uh, reference plane and let's place the handle. We, I forgot the handles. Let's go to the create component and here we will find the our door handles it's here let me I will place it okay let me I will use the align key align it's here and as you can see here is this line let's connect this line not differently this line to this line and this side to that side and connect let's say okay done and let's uh, I will try to move our door Let's say I will move it with uh, the door panel moving 100. Let's say OK. It's going, but this not. What's going on? Actually, because this parameter also should have mm, uh, the parameter like door panel movement. 
moving <coughs> or we can do another thing just dimension this side where is that this side and this side and just lock it let's try it again let's try it again where is the hundred maybe it will be some wrong yeah some wrong we should create one one more parameter like uh, mm -hmm. we should create one more parameter that will be better for us or maybe I will do like this mm. yeah I will do like this where is the my uh, opening 500 okay I will use dimension dimension here to here okay and this dimension will be uh, zero no zero too too much zero too much 500 yeah 500 500 not enough uh, 550 uh, 450 uh, 400 and this dimension will be static okay this dimension will be static yeah maybe I don't need the lock but let's check it 100 yeah now it's working as you can see and zero let it try zero zero it's like a stress test and everything working we can place the uh, handle on the other side too so it's really easy just select your this handle uh, now create the similar just use the top key to change the uh, direction by clockwise or you can use for example the mirror mirror by this axis i will do this one and let's use the top key top key by this way uh, i need to rotate it now 180 okay let's use the align key let's align on this way close and align this way close done now everything working let's load inside to the project yes i want to load to the la casa pura and let's override it and as you can see here is our sliding door we can also add some arrows if you want and it will be perfectly for your uh, project let me i will place some more here and one more here so we're done with doors now we should only go to the second floor and we should finish with the windows and after that we will work only with detail i think for this tutorial is pretty enough for you guys if you have some questions don't forget you always can ask me below the comments leave there some comments or you can send me your work if you have more complex problem or you maybe have some small better solution anyway just share with, with me with your own work this is, will be also great uh, thing when we can uh, develop our each work thank you guys and see you next time